Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Peter here. So we're checking out today the iconic Le Air du Desert Marocain by Andy Tower. So this opens up with spices. You're gonna get coriander, you're gonna get cumin. You're gonna get a very dry cedarwood and it's sort of bonded together with this ambergris holding the whole thing together. In the opening for about the first half an hour, I get kind of like an orange note, like an orange citrus, which I'm presuming is pettigreen, which is the oil extracted from the green leaf of a bitter orange tree. So that kind of orange citrusy note that I do detect, obviously, must be the pettigreen. In the dry down, you get a bit of vanilla and some of the florals, I kind of get jasmine, but when I think I smell it, it kind of goes again. So I think those kind of notes are blended very deeply into this fragrance and you will sort of pick wisps of them up as the fragrance goes along, but they're by no means dominant. Basically it is spice, wood and ambergris as the main body of the fragrance. In terms of performance, I got a good nine, hour, nine hours out of this fragrance. It performs very well. I got solid projection, I mean it pushes off heavy for three, four hours it was pushing well. Still going at the six hour mark, it was still radiating from my skin. You're gonna get easily seven hours of CR from this fragrance. Performs very, very well. Let's see what the girls think of their initial reactions to this fragrance. Check it out. What do you think of that? I like it. It doesn't smell like a perfume though. It smells a bit like... More like arty. Yeah. Like a, like a... I don't I, I just think it's really unusual like you've got quite, an it's quite quiet spicy. taste. It's quite yeah. spicy as well. It's very quite warm. I think it's like a fragrance you would like like an artist would wear, like someone creative, because it's like it's not your typical mm. I like it. It's fresh. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but I'm not over keen on kind of spicy ones. Yeah the, yeah. Well it's meant to smell like the air of the Moroccan desert, so obviously Moroccan food and stuff, like you've got a spiciness. I do like it. What would you think if a guy wore that? Is that an attractive smell? Or would yeah, you... no, I think it's an attractive smell. Yeah, it is an attractive smell. Yeah. I'd be but it's not amazing. No, I'm what not blown you... away by it. What would you give it out of 10? Probably about a 7. 7 out of 10 from Hannah, guys. I'd give it an 8.5. 8.5 and a half. Eight and a half from Charlotte, yeah. guys. So, as you can see from that, guys, actually quite a positive reaction from the girls there. I tested out on a few other people as well off camera who all had sort of positive things to say about this. Nothing mind blowing, but generally they liked the fragrance. I would be careful not to overspray this. For me personally, I mean I tested this from a sample, but if I had the bottle I would only spray this probably twice at most. I would say definitely don't do it more than three times. I think if you do that you're at risk of being off putting to other people around you. So just be careful on how much you spray this fragrance. In terms of when to wear it, I would say definitely the cold weather more. Maybe in the fall, but with less sprays. But I view this fragrance basically as an art piece. I think it's just very, very creative. I think Andy Tower is a, a true artist. I think he's approached this like an artist, you know. He's took his canvas and instead of painting with oil paints, he's painted with essential oils, you know, he's painted with his fragrance. And the image that he's created is just fantastic. I mean, the image that he had for this is stepping out onto the terrace of a building that's overlooking the Moroccan desert at the edge of a city. And as that warm desert air hits you, it brings up with it the, the smells and the scents from the city around you. So you're going to get sweetness and vanilla from the bakery around the corner. You're going to get florals, rose and jasmine coming up from the street below. Just very, very incredible that a perfumer has such a unique image of a fragrance and can replicate that so well to where, you know, you smell the fragrance and it just takes you there to what he imagined. I think that takes immense talent and skill and I have so much respect for that. You know, as someone who's creative myself, I, I can appreciate the talent that that takes. So I do see this as an art form, as an art piece, should I say. I think 
basically if you if you view perfumery as an art form if you can appreciate the creativity that goes into perfumery you know as artistry then this is a fragrance you either need to own or to just experience to know that you have tried this fragrance because you know this is this is creating for the sake of creation I think this is just very I think this will stand out in the test of time as being an iconic fragrance for the artistry of perfumery I really do I think this will stand out in a hundred years time people will look back on this and say wow you know he was an artist and I don't think too many perfumers will be remembered for that but I think Andy Tower will so go ahead and check out this fragrance guys highly recommend you at least try it it won't be for everybody and I would say don't buy it if you're just looking for compliments go with a designer fragrance if, if that is what you want this is more in tune with someone who is on a fragrance journey that's a little bit more developed in the taste that isn't really looking for compliments but is looking for creativity something unique something they can appreciate as an art form then this is worth checking out hope you enjoyed that video guys and i'll see you again in the next bye